guys, Tom here. Now, uh, this is a special video that I've been asked to make by a few people uh, who have asked me personally to show them how I make my videos. Okay? So obviously I'm using my screen recorder. As you can see in the window in front of you, there's a folder called Randomized. Now this is this. I'll, I'll do a couple of couple of steps in this. Obviously you can skip the step. Step one is going to be um, using the is going to be preparing the stuff to use the randomizer. Step two will be the randomizer, and then I'll show you how I make the videos and stuff like that. So for the time being, for the time being at least, we'll um, we'll go with it like this. Step one preparing for the randomizer. As you can see I've got a Pokemon Fire Red ROM here. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to extract your Pokemon Fire Red ROM by hitting extract files. It helps if you've got WinRAR. If you haven't, um, I think there's a PC program that does the job just fine. But I use WinRAR. So uh, extract the files because you want to extract your ROM and have all your data. Okay, so we'll close that and there's my uh, recording box. Uh, where is it? Where'd it go? Um, where the hell's it gone? <laughs> oh god, there it is. Right, it's in the top corner. Okay, so here's the Fire Red ROM extracted. Um, because the the file you need to use the randomizer is this one here, which is Pokemon Fire Red .gba. So we'll take that .gba file. And we'll cut it because we don't want it there anymore. We want it in the randomized file. So if I open that. And we'll put that down there, right? I use the UP I use UPR randomizer, a universal Pokemon randomizer that works for all games, so we'll drop that in there. Now as you can see, uh we wanna open this file, which is the randomizer, this one here, right? So we're gonna open that. So let's do that. <coughs> I'm going to take a drink while that opens. Come on, man. Okay, so let's try opening it again. There we go, it's opening now. At least I hope it is. It seems to be um, really struggling when I'm running a screen recorder, but... On. Why are you not? Up Why are you not doing what I tell you to do? Let's try again. Oh right, I've clicked the wrong one. Um, I want to open the actual file. Put the programmer. Which one do I need? It's open now. It takes a little while to open up because of Java. Anyway, uh, so once that's opened up, you want to open ROM. And then obviously there's your firered.gba file. So we'll let that open up. And then you see all of your file options have come to you. So I'll full screen this so you guys can have a good look at it. Now you've got stuff like um, update moves. That will update your moves to uh, generation 5 settings. I'm going to move my screen recorder box just a little bit. You've got update type effectiveness. That's also useful. So I always do, I always uh, select that. Um, uh, remove trade evolutions now. That one's very very useful because um, stuff like getting Alakazam trading a Kadabra across to someone else's file is very difficult when you're using a ROM hack. So you take trade evolutions out and you don't need to do that. You don't need to trade your uh, Kadabra across to your friend. They evolve at a level uh, or sometimes with a, with a stone or something. Um, uh, obviously you've got all all of these options. I'm not going to go into full detail about what these do, but these are the ones I use, right? Uh, um, that's only useful if it's a game without national decks, but I, I, I never bother with that because, I mean, uh, it's fine. Um, another one you want to use, and this is my favourite bit, start a Pokemon. You can do custom set where you can pick them, right? So... Um, obviously, it's auto set to the standard ones, Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, because I'm using a Fire Red ROM. Uh, so let's just say we wanted to start the game with starters of Jirachi. Uh, um, uh, I'm just going to randomly pick one. Uh, 
uh, we'll go with uh, Anarith. And um, let's go right down to the bottom. Uh, Jirachi, Anarith, and I don't know. Let's say Rayquaza. Ray Rayquaza, right? Okay, so now when you would start the game, you'd go into. You'd do the, all the starting stuff as you normally do on the game. And you'd arrive, and Professor would take you to his lab and say, okay, pick one of these Pokemon. You'd go into the Pokeballs, and you'd have Rayquaza, Jirachi, and Anarith. Um, but no, that's that's um, it's, that's really for cheating, really. Uh, and there's also completely random, which is just completely random. It could be a Charmeleon, it could be a Primeape, hell, it could be a Dragonair. But they will all be at level five. Um, but this is the one I I like. I like this one. Random basic Pokemon with two evolutions. Now that way you, you get to stick with it as. You stick with it as if it was a standard Pokemon game, because obviously you start with your Pokemon and you've got two evolution levels. So that's what I did for my Fire Red one, and got Pidgey as my starter, which is awesome, because as anybody who's watched uh, one of my favourite Pokemon parodies, Smosh, Pidgey, fuck yeah. Woo, Pidgey, fuck yeah. That's awesome. But, um, yeah, so that's what I use for my uh, randomizers, obviously, um... Pokemon types, you can change that. You can change move sets. Uh, you can change um, wild Pokemon. This is also good. It's also good to randomise that because then you can walk into the grass and run into whatever you know. Um, that's how I, I how I got my team on the game. Uh, TMs and HMs. Now normally I unchange this, but for a bit of a mix up, I randomised it. So it randomises the TM. So TM one is no longer toxic. TM one could be Teabag. Or, no, it just randomizes it with standard moves. TM1 could be Flamethrower. Um, I did it, and I have a load of, uh, like, Butterfree-like powder moves in my TM box, which is more useless than you could imagine. Uh, but, yeah, that's what I did for my one. Um, you've got Cash and More Mode, stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, this is a very, very good uh, randomizer. I got it off the internet. I'm not going to put any links or anything, but once you've done that, then you go to Randomize Save there. And you save it over the same file so that you replace the original ROM with another ROM with all the details. Um, I always say no to that because that's asking if you want to like, save a, a little file that can remind you how to randomise it to this setting again. But I, uh, I don't bother with that because... Um, well, you don't need to really. Uh, and so like you've got... You do that, right? Then you come into... You've got your game here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up for you, and I'll do I'll, I'll take you up to uh, I'll take you up to Professor Oak's um, table and um, uh, see what starters you'd get if the, if I was about if I was about to play the game with these settings, right? So there's my randomised file. I'm gonna take it over here to uh, it's up bloody iTunes, isn't it? Uh, take you over to my uh, Pokemon. A GBA ROM file and uh, okay, I'm going to leave that there for a second. Uh, go away, iTunes. I don't need you at the moment. Uh, don't quit. It's downloading podcasts um, for me to listen to. But right, so we'll take this up here and we'll drop that. I said we'll drop that in here onto my VBA. Now we'll pull it across. So I'm, I'm gonna uh, just I'm gonna try and get through as quickly as I can and get up to the uh, um, get up to the starting point just so you guys can see that this works. Uh, I'm holding the speed up button just to get through it really quickly. Um, See, look at that, right? Normally he'd have a Nidoran and female. He's got a Goldeen, so. So we'll, we'll continue through this, guys. I'm a boy called, um, I'm a boy called Man. This is just, obviously, I'm not, I'm not gonna be continuing this file. It'll be gone shortly. Uh, this is my grandson, what's his name? Uh, his name is... Uh, 
His name is Cat Hate. His name is Cat Hate because he's a dick. He's a dick bag. There you go, Cat Hate. Um. Was his name Cat Hate? Yes. Why not? Fucking hurry up. Here we go, we're in our house. Right, let's run away quickly. Run, 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 run. Woo! Let's go. Get out of there, guys. Da -da 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 -da. Running into the grass, because I'm 10 years old. Yeah, Peter Farman here. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Obviously, guys, um, please watch my Fire Red playthrough if you want to actually see me do this properly without taking the piss out of it, like this, but. Here we go, we're in, we're in Oak's lab, right, okay, let's um, talk to him and get, get this started so we can have three Pokemon. And see what starters we've got. I can't remember what setting I saved it as, so... Ah, fuck you, Cat Hate, I'm getting a Pokemon first. Right, so the starters that you've got available to you. You've got Lotad. It's obviously Lotad, Lombre... You've got Quilt, you've got Celio, Sveal, and Charmander. That does happen sometimes because when you're using um, when you're using a uh, um, you know with two evolutions, there's a lot of standard starters: Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, the ones from Johto, the ones from Hoenn, the ones from Sinnoh, the ones from My Testicles. They're all there, you know. So uh, yeah, there is a possibility that you will get one of the original starters, but Let's um, F that off, quite frankly, because we don't need to keep up with that. But yeah, obviously, guys, uh, that's how I make my games. Uh, now, obviously, uh, when I when I come to edit them, I haven't really got a file to edit, so that's going to be a slight issue for me. But um, I'll give you a, quite, a quick basis. I use Win Double F. Uh, yep. So um, let's close the randomizer and. Um, uh, close that as well. Uh, but yeah, I use WWF down here. Um, you can easily get it. It's freeware on the web. Uh, and that's what I use to convert my video files into... Uh, to convert my video files into something that I can upload to YouTube. Uh, so if you guys um, uh, want to get into this business that I, that I call my home, please feel free. But that's how I do my randomizer. So if, uh, for those of you who asked for this, that's, that's, um, that, that's talking to you, Wayne, and asking about how I record in my videos, um, uh, a shout out to you, Bex. Um, if you want to get if you want to get in touch with me, use comments down below. Or if you're actually a personal friend of mine, uh, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, as for those of you who uh, want to contact me on Twitter, please do. It's at Tom Williams 1990. Um, this one's gone a hell of a lot longer than I really wanted to, uh, but yeah, that's how I do my randomizers. That's how I record my videos. So thank you guys for being the best people in the world ever at all, and that is inc and that is including porn stars. Love you all, guys. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.